I'm back with another sewing video, even though I promised you something a little different. Yeah, I did film something different. However, I, I, I didn't like the video, like at all, but I do like the result of the thing I made in that video. I painted these shoes, they are my old Dr. Martens that faded in colour, so I painted them. Yeah, that video is not going to be online. Uh, I hope in the future I might do something else as sewing as well, but for now we have another sewing video. Also, I'm Esther, for if you're new here, and I live in a tiny house. I'm going to sew something that I had planned for quite a while, but recently I discovered I had fabric for that. So basically it's going to be a 1940s inspired overalls because I love those. I really do. So yeah, that's the plan. And surpri I'm surprised by this, but I did this pretty professional. So far, I haven't finished the project, but I washed the fabric. I know I'm supposed to do that with every fabric because then it shrinks before you make anything of it. But usually I am too lazy, but not this time. I got it from a neighbor who had a lot of this fabric. She got it second hand uh, in a box of old patterns and some fabrics. I'm very happy with it. It's this um, like denim white and green striped fabric. But yeah, another thing I did, which I'm so proud of, is I made a mock-up. I never done that before because that just seems like annoying to make the same piece of garment twice. But since I don't really have a complete pattern of what I want because uh, first of all uh, 1940s overalls are it's quite a wide you know like the base is pretty much the same in all of them but there are slight differences and I got a pattern from Simplicity and there's just a few things that I do not like about the pattern first of all it's very straight it feels it looks very cheap and just very unflattering and I did not want that, so I looked up a bunch of Pinterest pictures and I decided on this, this inspiration. Yeah, so I drew something up of what I wanted to make and then I started by wearing a t-shirt and just basically pin it in places and draw on it so I could get the pattern pieces or at least the basis of pattern pieces. I have no other way to do this. I, I don't know how. This is just... It seems to have worked with one project in the past and I did it again. So yeah, and then you get some pattern pieces and you're going to try it on a couple of times like to see how it fits, um, if it's right, if you need any tweaking. Um, so yeah, I came up with this. I used a part of a bed sheet. I already used the other half of the bed sheet for like my little outside tent. I might finish it and make like for like summer because it's like a short version because it was not enough for like a pant. Um, so I did that which I think worked out fine. I also stumbled on some things that I want to do differently on the real projects. After I finished that I got like the pattern pieces here. We have like the top part of the well top. Then we have like the waist band on the front. We have the back piece I made some like what's it called interfacing no um but yeah to do like finish off the edges quite neatly I made like for the front and the back these pieces so I could fold it in I got some pockets and I also got a back on the front of the pants I used the original 1940s uh, simplicity pattern for it although I did alter it because I also didn't like the way her pants fit in the picture so I used my Pomona pants uh, to kind of alter them because I like the way they fit around my bum and my everything so I used that so yeah as you can see I have already ironed the pocket pieces so that once I get to that I don't have to do that before and I can just sew them on I'm gonna start with putting a gather stitch between 
uh, these notches that I made back here so that that gathers up. I don't know if this fabric is going to be nice gathering up, else I will make pleats in those areas. But that's something I have to think about because it's quite stiff because it's denim. And then I just need to fiddle this one on it. It's going to be quite fiddly, I've noticed, with this very uh, flimsy, not, not flimsy, but like not structure fabric. And I just assume this is going to be worse. But we're gonna make it happen anyway. Usually with 1940s overalls there are like buttons on the side but I haven't found any correct buttons and also I just want this to be like an easy thing to put on so I will go for a zipper. As you've noticed I haven't yet made like the strips to go on top but I want to do that when I uh, have at least a base on so I can I know how long I need the straps to be. So yeah that's this project. I hope you enjoy it. And um, so far I've enjoyed this myself as well. But we have been going very slow about it because sometimes your brain asks for that. So yeah, let's uh, get on with the project. It's me again, but this time I already finished the overalls and I thought I would just take you along step by step. So I started with gathering the bust and then pinning it to the midsection. Simultaneously, simultaneously, um, at the same time, <laughs> I pinned the front leg patterns together uh, around the set, crotch, crotch area, I think, and I did the same for the back area, and then I sew that all, and then I moved on, and then I pinned together the front and the back of the pants but only around the crotch and the inner leg areas then I put it on like I guess you would do a diaper just to see like where my middle was so I could figure out where I would pin the top area to because basically I ended up drafting the entire pattern myself there were no notches or uh, placements of where exactly the pattern pieces should match up so I had to just find it out on my body. Then pin it together and then check. And whilst you're checking, you're also gonna see where you're gonna put the pockets uh, on the front. I didn't do this before because I didn't know where my waist was going to start because I I knew there were, was going to be a lot of excess waist material on the pants. So I didn't want it to end up having like the edges of my pockets there. And then whilst you pin the pocket in its place. Just keep checking to make it fit properly so that when you put on the pants you can actually reach into the pockets, um, then sew the pockets and then sew the top area to the bottom area. So next step is to find out how much of the sides you need to take in. I did this by just putting it on and pinning it on me. It would have been easier if I had a dress form in my size but I don't also don't have any place for it so I use my body because I can't just take it off completely pinned I left one side pinned in place and the other side I just drew with a pencil on the inside of the fabric so I knew where to put it back together again then so only one side of the overalls together and then on the other side you're gonna so up until where the zipper is going to start and then you put the zipper in and sew the zipper in place. It does do well to just check every now and then to make sure that your item of clothing still fits you. Because I did that and noticed that the crotch was way too low, like it was somewhere down my knees. So I needed to fix that, which was unfortunately because I was planning on finishing the garment that day, but I couldn't because I had a little bit more work to do and would work, I mean, completely rip the crotch and inner leg area apart, not rip as in just like take the stitches out with a seam ripper and then place it where, you know, you want your crotch to actually be. I noticed that for me the front area was way too long so the back area was actually fine so I just checked where I wanted the front crotch area to start and then pin it in place on the 
part that I already sewn in the first time. I hope this makes sense. Then sew it all together and then cut off the excess fabric. Speaking about excess fabric, my pant legs were also way too long, like there was this much, this much extra pant leg. So I cut them around that height, I guess, and hemmed the bottom of that. And for measuring the straps, put the entire thing on again and just with like a measuring tape, just go roughly about how long you think it needs. For me, it meant 53 centimeters long and I wanted it to be like the, the actual strap to be around five centimeters. So I did 10 uh, centimeters plus the sewing allowance. And then you, you pin the strap in half and sew it. I sew it in like a tip so that when I take it inside out it has a point. I don't know why I did that. Then pin it where it want it and then check if it's the right length and if it's in the right placement. If not, adjust it. And once you're happy with that, sew that in place. Then I have this, I think it's called facing. So I put them right sides together with the strap in between and then sew it along and then flipped it over and top stitch it so it was all nice so now to the part where like it's not going to be finished really because i want to make some adjustments but it's okay for now so i sewn in some press buttons but then very simple ones uh, just temporarily i kind of want to have some other press buttons i think like i a while ago i used these ones that you just basically hammer in and then it has like on the outside has like a little metal ring I think I want that I first was going to do like buttonholes with buttons because but I I just decided I I don't want to do that also uh, I ended up taking uh, right around the oxus on one side and the other side I haven't done that because there's a zipper so I think I will go back to it once again and just take in the zipper a bit so that it kind of fits more smoothly because now it just stands out which is not perfectly but overall I think I'm very happy with it if I had to do things over again I think I would like to have the zipper to be less long because I because I always fear that my hips won't go through it so I'd go extra long but that was definitely not necessary um, I was kind of worried that it would emphasize like um, my pear shape. I don't know if I actually have a pear shape, but sometimes it seems just depending on what I wear. But anyway, once I ironed it, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I just needed a quick iron. But yes, I'm very happy with this piece. It's very comfortable, which is very important if I want to actually wear it. And I think it looks cute and I'm surprised that I did this with basically no pattern at all. So I'm proud of me. It's not perfect, but I think it's close if I do those little adjustments that I haven't done yet. I have tried to fix it like quickly and just did like a tiny press button so that I could clip it like back. But uh, that doesn't work. Plus, even if it would work, it didn't look cute. this project done so if you like this video please leave a like and comment and tell me what things you liked about this thing if you're gonna try it as well or if you have another very brilliant idea of something you have made I would very much love to see it or hear about it and please subscribe it would be lovely if we have more of you for next week I want to do a styling challenge I want to try out and venture into some I just want to try out different things with my channel and I hope you're all down for that. 
If not, it's fine and just stay for the selling content because that will be here. Definitely. Like, not next week, but the week after I do have like a little upcycling project that I'm very excited and very nervous about. I will see you next week and for now, have a good week. Because this is going to be online on Monday.